we're finally at volume four isn't that amazing we started back in august and i was like oh my god how am i going to get through this doing four videos doing all the editing the filming the slides the presentations but we made it we're on the final final leg of things for phase one of the bosses building bosses project welcome to volume four three full healthy lengthy master classes volume one through three and you know which was very informative and very um, you know inspiring and very informative so for the final volume I decided not to have a master class but instead have an information an informative video um, just showing you different networks and different organizations that you may or may not be already aware of and just giving you some information about them what they do resources available for entrepreneurs and opportunities that are available um, for startups and entrepreneurs so let's get into it first we're going to look at one young world so Get your coffee, get your drinks, your snacks, because this is going to be laid back. I will be shifting from time to time because my handy dandy MacBook is here and I will just be going on it on the different sites and just telling you about them um, in my own words based off what the information that they have on there. And I will put all the links to each site that I'm going to reference in this video at the bottom of this video so it will be easier for you to access. So you can access One Young World at www.oneyoungworld.com and I'm on the website now and I'm just going to read what young, One Young World is about. So basically, it's an organization that identifies, that promotes, and connects the world's most impactful young leaders to create a better world with more responsible, more effective leadership. So One Young World has an annual summit, the One Young World Summit, annual summit. And this year, it's going to be in Munich, I believe, um, Germany. Um, in April next year, the 23rd to 26th, I believe. Um, so, just to tell you a little bit about the summit, it convenes the brightest young talent from every country and sector working to accelerate social impact. Delegates from 190 plus countries are counseled by influential political, business, and humanitarian leaders such as Justin Trudeau, Paul Paulman, and Meghan Markle amongst many other global figures. The One Young World Summit 2021 will take place in Munich, Germany from the 23rd to the 26th of April. So One Young World is a very impactful resource and network that we entrepreneurs in the Caribbean can, you know, explore, um, can be a part of if we are interested. And they offer a lot of resources they are offer a lot um, certain programs. There is the global network of first palsies. There is the peace programs that they have. Um, they also have a community of leaders. Let me just tell you what the community is. So the One Young One Young World Ambassador Community is the most impactful network for young leaders. So it comprises business leaders. Um, politicians, government and policy officials, recognized entrepreneurs, activists, and human rights advocates. Okay, and there are a lot of benefits to being part of the ambassador program in One Young World. Um, some of the benefits are access to exclusive programs, high level um, speaking engagements, mentorship, curated events, 
um, media opportunities and a lot more so you can just browse for the, for the one young world website and you know to get more information but this video is just meant on referencing certain networks and organizations that are out there that can afford us entrepreneurs and startups or persons thinking of starting a business with in, with um, useful resources that we can implement and that we can use to further ourselves as professionals. Now we're going to look at Caribbean Export and Development Agency. So the website is www.carib-export.com um, Right now, I think um, it was shared on my business page um, on the Girls of Gold 767 business page but right now there is a $15,000 Euro um, grant program that is currently underway. Um, you have to be in business for I believe three years and above. Um, there are different eligible areas such as certification, marketing and promotion, um, business recovery, business continuity planning, equipment purchase and upgrade, protection of intellectual property rights, capacity building and energy efficiency and renewable energy. So it's a direct support grant um, as part of the COVID-19 response recovery program and reviving the SM SME trades and businesses. So basically the Caribbean Export is a regional trade and investment promotion agency mandated to enhance the competitiveness of CARIFORUM, SME, sorry, and promote trade regionally and internationally. So, again, another great resource and information center um, organization that we as, that you as an entrepreneur, especially if you're starting or if you're small in business, can read up and educate yourself on the different um, opportunities and resources that are out there um, just to give you a little information but you can always go to the website go to the website www.carib-export.com and get the information that is available on the website so they offer business advocacy there is a binational program um, mutual recognition agreements there is also export promotion, promotion on exports like crafts, music, fashion, film, food and beverage. There is also investment opportunities. You can read up on past um, regional investor of the year awards. Um, there's also investments like CIS Miami, Caribbean Investment Summit, Miami, Mexico, London. And they have a blog as well. And there are download things that um, resources that you can download, such as the um, general information brochure um, to give you a more in-depth view of what the Caribbean Export Development Agency is and what it offers. So that is a the Caribbean Export Development Agency is another good um, organization or resource that you, that you can always delve into and get more information and find out more opportunities that are out there. Next we're going to look at the Caribbean Center for Organizational Excellence. So that website is www.organizational-excellence.com um, or you can just type Caribbean Center for Organizational Excellence in Google search and it will bring up the first um, result as the um, website so the organizational for X the organizational center for excellence um, is an organizational development and financial advisory firm dedicated to the nurturing and enabling of organizations to realize functional efficiencies development capacity and profitability so Basically, they offer um, financial information. Um, there is a brochure that is available for purchase. I think it's about, I may be mistaken, but I think 25 US or about 25 to 40 US. Um, it 
I think I referenced the sense of organizational excellence in volume three when I was when we spoke about financial management I'm not sure but if not they have um, a document on financial management for small business owners for entrepreneurs um, so while perusing for the website you can see that they have different initiatives for example financial fitness um, business enrichment allies for excellence starting right business labs they also offer knowledge enrichment um, e-meeting and coaching there is an e-resource shop so if you click on the e-resource shop um, it brings you to the business support tools which I think that's where you can find the um, financial document but it's for purchase I think so yeah so there is a driving business growth through results based budgeting so it's an essential business management handbook and it's um, 2425 US or 4850 Bayesian because I think the, cent the center not I think the Center for Excellence um, is based in Barbados um, yeah and they have, they have different featured products that you can um, you know look research and look at KPIs that matter um, KPIs are key performance indicators, by the way, um, for your business. Results-based budgeting, um, business plan roadmap, the financial tracker. So the Center for Organizational Excellence is a very good um, resource again. Um, I wanted to put a group of resources and of networks that are valuable and that can create as much impact as possible when it comes to your personal as well as your professional your business development so the center for excellence is um, another good one they also have a business enrichment hub and uh, a calendar of events so you can see on the website um, the different um, events that they have coming up or past events um, and they have different affiliations like professional, small, small to medium business and corporate and they give you the different benefits and um, you can apply for each one. Um, they're all 20, well, 15, 25, 45 US respectively. Um, yeah, so that is the Caribbean Center for Excellence. As I said, I will put the links at the bottom so it's easier for you to access. Now we're going to look at the Commonwealth Foundation. It's the agency for civil society. So they support people's participation in democracy and development. So on the website, which is pretty, e pretty easy to navigate, um, you can f explore, um, find out information about their knowledge hub, their forum. They have a grants page so at the top there is the about tab projects so they support people's participation in democracy and development through three main program areas um, participatory governance and gender commonwealth writers and grants so i know grants is probably more intriguing than the others so always educate yourself research and these um, resources that i am referencing in this video um, are good ways um, to start with um, your research, to start um, educating yourself if you haven't already or if you're not aware of these opportunities, um, these resources that are available, these networks that can just broaden your knowledge of things out there and, and opportunities that are existing out there for entrepreneurs. So there's the grants tab. Um, they have the Commonwealth Foundation offers a grants program which supports innovative project ideas and approaches that seek to strengthen the ability of civic voices to engage with governments to improve governance and development outcomes through their active participation. So you can browse their, their grants. They have different focus areas um, also based on grant funding and they have a 
the Commonwealth Foundation, ha they have also a People's Forum, and again, they have an events tab that um, will show you the different events that they have going on and that have passed, and also a knowledge hub. Most of the websites have the networks that I'm going to re reference in this video have knowledge hubs, um, or they may name it differently on the website, but this is the same same concept. So that is Commonwealth Foundation down to my favorite which is my alma mater program Wiley. so we're going to touch a little bit about the young leaders of the americas initiative so it's wiley.state.gov we're going to talk about the professionals the Wiley professionals exchange program first and then i will speak a little bit about the initiative itself so the fellows program is an annual student uh, exchange program rather um, which comprises entrepreneurs and young leaders from Latin America and the Caribbean um, roughly about 280 um, so what happens in this program is we come together um, and each of us are matched with a uh, with an organization or business in the US based on the business that we are representing at that time. So just to give you a little information about my experience, um, I did Wiley in 2018. Um, at the time I was the executive vice president of JCI Dominica so and I had a business as well but it was not Girls Who Go 767. Girls Who Go 767 was actually born from a rebrand um, which I can always make a video about that um, later on but I represented Girls Who Go 767 and my business my startup that I had back then and I was matched with Catalyst Miami so you can always Google them. They're basically a non-profit. So because I was representing a non-profit, which was JCI Dominica, I was matched with another non-profit doing similar um, activities, but they were doing more. They were more, um, you know, hands-on and they actually had employees. You know, JCI Dominica is a non-profit and the work that we did or the work that I did was voluntary. You were not getting paid for it. Um, and they were just um, advocating for low-income households in the Miami-Dade area. So, um, while I took place in Washington in 2018, that was the opening. So we spent a few days in Washington, and then each of us was sent to a different hub. I think each hub had 10 fellows. Um, I may be mistaken, but 10 10 to 12 fellows so I um, myself and nine other um, entrepreneurs were sent to Miami so I spent a month in Miami about four weeks and I worked at Catalyst Miami as a fellow or an exchange um, student whatever you want to call it and it was a very rewarding experience I got to um, see how the differences of how things operated in the US as opposed to Dominica as opposed to the Caribbean and how nonprofits um, operate and the differences and the similarities in the work that nonprofits in the US and in the well in Dominica um, do. Um, I also got a chance to attend different workshops all over the downtown Miami area and also at MDC Miami Day College. Um, I did different workshops there because the thing with, with the program is that you can capitalize whatever um, state or hub that you are sent. So if there are some of my friends who went to Chicago, who went to Kansas, um, who went to different areas, Miami and so forth. So the good thing about the fellows program is that you can capitalize on your time spent in your hub. So Eventbrite, I used Eventbrite a lot while I was in Miami because um, Eventbrite is a very good resource also. I should have added that in, in the list 
of resources but also to find out when there are different events and especially free ones that you can do virtually now um, with everything that's going on but back then because I was in Miami for a while um, I capitalized on different workshops that I could attend and that were interesting to me or that I was interested in then I took the opportunity during my stay to do that and after um, I left Miami we went to Detroit sorry I said that wrong the opening of the fellows program was in Detroit and then we went to Miami and then from Miami I went to Washington so 2018 was a good traveling year for me and before I went to the wildlife program I was in Miami um, earlier in the year for JCI area conference in um, Miami as well so I've, I'm, every year I travel 2020 is the only year that I have not gone anywhere but 2021 God knows <laughs> yes yeah, so that is the fellowship program in essence it's just an exchange bringing entrepreneurs and young leaders together from Latin America you get to learn different cultures you get to explore different areas we went on tours different food nightlife um, the businesses that you were placed that we were placed with different on um, our colleagues um, the other fellows their businesses that they were placed with so it's a very enriching rewarding experience and I would encourage anyone in their capacity to apply for the wildlife program. The program was supposed to be, it's every year, so 20, this year was supposed to have one. But it was bumped to 2021, so that process is finalized. I think they have already chosen their finalists and their fellows for 2021. But coming years, it will be even better. And I encourage anyone who finds this of interest, especially if you haven't experienced the U.S. as yet, it is very very impactful and rewarding experience that you will not once you go in with an open mind and with again your mindset being one of endurance and persistence towards your professional development in terms of your business and yourself then you will not regret it while I is also part of this um, these master classes um, which I have done for you all so all of you who have registered and who have done the quiz and who will complete these master classes well one two and three um, at the end of November your certificates will have the YLI logo and the 3ds logo which I will um, talk on next three day startup logo so this is my life for you so you can browse peruse through the website um, while I was launched in 2015 um, the US Department of State's Young Leaders of the Americas initiative it empowers emerging leaders emerging business and social entrepreneurs from across Latin America and the Caribbean Canada the US to realize their full economic potential of their of these region citizens so that is basically it the wildlife network is another good um, resource that you can join it's free to join on on the wildlife.state.gov website you can join the wildlife network there are courses that you can take that are free and then you get a certificate of completion at the end it's just a very impactful motivating resource and network that you can delve into and that you can appreciate the outcomes that it gives so you can join the network and take advantage of all that Wyla has to offer. Um, there are a lot of tools and resources that um, Wyla offers. Um, a lot, a lot. So it's just perusing the website and getting the information that suits you and that you're interested in. Next, we're going to talk about 3-Day Startup. That's my um, matter as well. 3-Day Startup is based in Austin, Texas. It's also a non-profit. And basically, 3-Day Startup is the same concept as Girls Go 767, believe it or not. Um, and honestly, I did not start my business based off of 3-Day Startup, but because I went through the program and I did the entrepreneurship certification from them, um, I guess it just, and I'm a social entrepreneur, I guess it 
just became part of me and one of my best friends in St. Kitts who did the wildlife program with me in 2018 he pointed out that my business is similar to three day startup and I'm like yeah really it is it is so you know from the empowerment and the motivation that I push into you all and that I put out there on my platforms that is basically what three day startup does with entrepreneurs so on the website um, the first thing that you'll see is 3 ds Global Roundup, which took place already. Um, so it's, it was basically a conference, a virtual conference this year, um, which featured a broad range of topics such as applying to an accelerator, creating a compelling landing page, getting your first 20 customers, and so much more. So it was a very impactful, um, impactful conference. Um, unfortunately it was virtual this year but it was very impactful nonetheless so basically three-day startup is a non-profit as I said and it was founded by a diverse group of students um, who saw an unexpressed potential in um, startups and their higher education so similar with with three with um girls you go 767 um i began this business because primarily for motivation and empowerment but it's backed up with the services that i offer um the paid services that i offer but i started it primarily because i saw a need for the increased awareness of the skills the abilities and the achievements of young girls and women in Dominica, especially women in business. There are a lot of um, women in business um, and I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me that are not being recognized enough and I saw one of my um, friends, she has a business, a small business um, and she made mention on Facebook. When I saw it on Facebook I was like wow I'm sure a lot of other young women who have businesses feel this way but may not know how to express it or may just keep it inside and she said a lot of people in Dominica and I'm sure in other Caribbean countries would prefer to order stuff online as opposed to buy it from a local business that makes this similar or exact thing and it's sad but it's true a true reality and I just felt that there was an under an, an under appreciation, if that's a word, of women in business. And so Girls with Goals 767 was born. And so far, I can see the impact that it's having. Trust me, I put a goal for the business, for my business that and for my brand, that I would reach 500 likes by December 31st. And that was months ago I put that goal eh? And now, right before my eyes, we are at, I think, almost 700 likes, but we're above 700 followers. And that just goes to show that each 700, and I think it's 11 now, um, follower that's following those equals 767 saw something in my service, in my approach, in you know my dedication to want to improve the the mindset of women and young girls in business and I appreciate you each of you each 700 and, and something I appreciate you and I will continue to do my best um, towards that goal and achieving that goal or, or helping even if it's one person that I impact that's fine enough that's good enough for me so we're straight from the topic. So Three Day Startup was started by some students um, in Austin, Texas, because they saw that need for um, people or young people who wanted to start businesses and did not have the platform where they could learn um, different aspects of business progression and, and how to start a business and how to maintain customers and attract new customers financial management and all these other things so that's the the, the foundation that 3ds started um, from 
and it's a student organization incorporated as a non-profit in 2010 and it began expanding um, this immersive short format model to higher learning institutions across the globe so it's basically like a learning institution but it's non-profit so that is where um, I obtained in 2018 um, after well all the fellows did the the 3d the three-day startup entrepreneurship course it was a course it was like a yeah I guess you can see a course and it had different modules it, it it comprised various modules and we got our cert we were certified entrepreneurs in 2019 so that's where my certification comes from um, and I also did another training back in last year December in Jamaica um, through three days startup again um, but this time in entrepreneurship ecosystems so my knowledge also lies there as well so three day startup is very is another very informative resource and an organization that you can learn a lot from and that you can peruse their website and get valuable information they have a lot they have an entrepreneur resource tab that you can be privy to over 500 programs um, they have resource pages you can download the lean canvas from there which i referenced in the first volume the first volume here yeah, i referenced the link canvas they have information on prototyping customer discovery um they tell you about their success kit partners and blogs they have different blogs for which are simple reads five minutes six minute reads different blogs for um startups and and young entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs so three day startup is also part of um, this series of master classes under the bosses building bosses project and that is why they fall under one of my references um, as informative resources but even if they were not part of my project um, they would still play an integral part in being a very useful resource and an organization that you can learn a lot from now 10 habitat is located in a lovely barbados um, i visited 10 habitat twice um, in 2019 i went to barbados twice I tell you every year i go in somewhere is 2020 alone i did not go anywhere but um, 10 Habitat also is a platform for entrepreneurs, not only in Barbados, but um, in the Caribbean as well. You can check out their Facebook page. Um, they have, it's 10habitat.com. Um, so you can peruse their website. Um, their website is fancy. You have to enter site so enter site so they have different events that you can check out they have a coding academy their community um, they have a magazine um, and it's basically 10 habitat is like sort of like three-day startup it's like an education facility they have different workshops for entrepreneurs different activities we attended the a group of us um, while I alumni alumna sorry we attended the 10 habitat um, entrepreneur summit back in 2019 um, which gave us opportunities to pitch our business ideas and I think it's from then when I pitched my business idea back then it was not girls with go 767 that I from the feedback that I got from the in the panel I knew then and there that my business back then needed to be rebranded I could not go forward with what I had back then it was too confusing first of all and I wanted to incorporate too many things so I sat down when I came up from my readers and I rebranded and I came up with girls with goals 767 actually 
it's funny story girls equals 767 did not start as girls equals 77 just started as girls equals 7 girls with goals project so it was never a business to begin with but that's a separate video if you want to know how girls with goals started i can do a video with that i can do a video about that yeah so 10 habitat basically is an informal an information center um it's like an idea um, center you can always check that out at Miami Dade College they have a part in the college called the idea center um, where they do the same thing as 3ds and similar to the same thing as 3ds and um, 10 habitat does they have different workshops I was I attended different workshops when I was in Miami and at the college and they encourage their students the Miami Dade the students who attend the college those who are interested in entrepreneurship and they mold them and they bring them together in one space where they can bounce ideas off of each other where they can learn from each other where they can learn from from um, professionals in their fields in the fields that they want to go into um, business wise so it's kind of it, it's like a, 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 a safe space for self-development for self and professional development and that is my goal um as ceo and founder of girls who go 767 five years down the line maybe even less i want to create a space in dominica a center of excellence a girls who go 767 institute because it is a brand development entrepreneurs empowerment and entrepreneurs institute where women entrepreneurs well, primarily women, but entrepreneurs in, in general can come and can learn and can, you know, interact with other entrepreneurs, get ideas, um, be impacted, be empowered, develop ideas, learn from, from professionals in their field, people who have gone through the process of starting businesses. So that is my, my, that is my goal for Girls with Goals 767. So that is 10 Habitat. In a nutshell, they also have a community, um, they have a boot camp, they have mentorship, the startup summit I was telling you about, which I attended in um, 2019. Um, and they also have funding available, acceleration, and you can um, view their latest news. Now we're going to look at Gen, the Global Entrepreneurs Network. Basically a network that provides resources that makes it easier for people across the Caribbean and other countries to start a business. So they provide a lot of resources and they also have a network which you can join free or can be a part of a community and have um, the resources available to you and different opportunities that they have available so in the website in the gen global website they have a tab with the different programs you can also start a gen program um, in your country so let's say for example you want to start a program in dominica then you can sign up to do that and they will provide you with assistance um, resources and information that that is needed so there is gen research gen policy gen accelerate startup huddle is it is what it is um startup nation summit there is also a yearly summit um gec which is the global entrepreneurs conference um last year it was in bahrain i think this year it was supposed to be held this year but because of covid um, it has to be put it had to be pushed to next year so it's going to take place in um, Raida in uh, Saudi Arabia and yours truly is um, an official delegate so God willing I will be traveling to Saudi Arabia next year March to take part in the Global Entrepreneurs Congress um, so it will give you information about GEC and events news and other resources that um, can be useful to startups and entrepreneurs in general. I wanted to throw in BPW um, since I am advocating for women in business. Um, BPW is, stands for the Business Professional Woman 
and it is an organization that has a branch in Dominica um, you can check them out on Facebook who basically advocates for women in business professionalism and it's a organization it's a nonprofit organization that champions for the um, upliftment of women empowerment uh, motivation and just encourages professionalism and the you know motivation of women in business it's a very very resourceful organization to be a part of very impactful and I recommend um, you know just looking it up reading on on the history of BPW and and what it has to offer so these were all the um, resources and networks and organizations that I wanted to talk about um, as I said earlier I will leave the links down below so it will be easy access for you to peruse the websites and for you to get the information if you have any questions on any of the resources that I listed please do not hesitate to contact me directly on girls you go 767 um, number 315-9549 you can send me an email girls it goes team at gmail.com send a Facebook message Instagram Twitter whatever suits you and is convenient for you so I wanted to do a bit of a shout out before I end this information video um, this time the video is not an hour I hope it's not an hour long or two hours long I remember my um, women in leadership video course was like two hours long I was like oh my god Leah nobody's going to sit through that but I'm hoping that all the courses were impactful and this one was just to give you a little information of what's out there and what you resources that you can use that can benefit you so I have my handy dandy notebook so I'm going to just shout out a few businesses a few I could not possibly do all um, but there are a lot a lot of small businesses businesses that are owned by women that are just it just amazes me when I go through the news feed and um, to see all the businesses and new businesses that I've never heard of and that is what goes equal 767 wants to market and wants to um, improve on the visibility of the small businesses women own small businesses in Dominica um, so let me do my shout out um, I have a long list but it's not all it's not all I want to just show appreciation and just give my viewers a bit of information as to the businesses that are out there and I think most of them if not all you can find them on social media on Facebook um, but I will put their information if I have it or like their logo um, while I'm calling the names while I'm doing the shout outs so it will be easier for you to find them and to support first we're I want to give a shout out to Finance Focus. My friend Luana Lura is the CEO and founder. She gives awesome, awesome, very informative and very impactful financial advice. And take it from me, she's the go-to for financial advice. So you can check out Finance Focus on Facebook, on Instagram as well. Manny's Melts, Manny's Melts does candles, scented candles, unique cuisine, oh my God, food unique cuisine your extra hands does business support services as well and she can support you and give you um, sound advice when it comes to development of a business or if you want to start a business toddler town which was my first feature on um, under my free business features um, service that I offer DZ night care Monique's Daycare, Ace Academia Training, service, Tutoring Services, sorry, Ace Academia Tutoring Services, which is a current um, feature that is going on right now, Radiance Hair Salon, Lush 767, Styles by Nisha, Hair to Slay, Amelia Coffee Shop, Makeup by Jessie, Amanda's Shop and Snack It, Posh Nail Spa, Diamante Beauty, Cosmetics, The Gold Mine, 
Meraki designs that, um, they offer printing services whatever you want printed on whatever they will do it for you G's printing and designs same they these two are same um, business ideas same printing services and design services but they are both impeccable impressions plus is located in Portsmouth um, printing services as well proud of me is a new one um, that I was just um, informed about the red light the red lily flower shop R&B shoe outlet and Jasso's tutoring services so these are some of the small businesses all of them every single one that I call is owned by a young woman Dominican I'm so proud of each and every one although I don't know half of them personally and half of the proprietors personally but I will market to you and promote you as much as I can through my business platform and through my empowerment platform thank you so much for viewing this video we have come to the end of the bosses building bosses project phase one there are different phases in this project but this is the completion of phase one which was the volume one to four master classes I tweaked it a bit volume 4 this volume is not a masterclass but just a laid-back you know casual video that I wanted to do and just inform you of different resources that are out there and that are available to help um, educate you when it comes to starting your business do not forget to like comment subscribe to our YouTube channel follow us and like us on Facebook if you have not already and if you need any business advice, professional, personal development advice, then don't hesitate to send me a message or send us a message on Facebook, WhatsApp, call, whatever is convenient for you. Thank you for viewing and have a great weekend.